That must be the way out. Now how to get there? Maybe Z could tell us more about this. You know your way around Kobo, don't you? Come on, Neko. Identify yourself now. Watch yourself. Someone locked it up. Maybe we can find another way in. <clears throat> Easy, Neko. Thanks, friend. You got it.
Let's go, BD. your way around Kobo, don't you? We'll get around faster now. Now, that better? There's a good Neko. You just stay here now, all right? And be quiet. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Good Neko. Jump! <clears throat> you know your way around Kobo, don't you?
barn. Wonder what the prospectors kept in there. Defend me. found. Well fought, but you are outmatched. This is my tower. What do you want? To offer you something. A proposal.
I'll check it out. Found another shard. BD1. My bantam old mum dubbed me Scuba Stev. Scuba the Fisher, am I? You know, there's a fish tank down in Pylon Saloon that could use some attention. Pylon Saloon? That will have infested watering hole down in your valley. All right, all right. You know, yeah. Ah, fine, twist my arm. I'll do it. Meet me at the saloon and we'll appraise this so called tank. <laughs> ah, can you could have stay away? Even if you save the sea spray, once it's missed in your gums. I guess not. You have the aspect of a fish alive. And uh, lucky for you, we're perched just above the layer of the sea fish. Sea fish, huh? That's right. An impossible catch. No fisher in the right mind would pursue such a quarrelsome foe. No fisher, but Skiver Stev. This is BD-1. Are you here to rescue us? We were just exploring. How long you been here? We have been trapped down here for at least a standard cycle. Maybe more. We? Ah, yes. It is just me. And has been for some time. But you have cleared the way. Are the raiders gone then? We took care of them. Maybe you should leave before more come. Yes. I will return to the outpost at Rambler's Reach. We... Had a domicile there. 
I hope to see you again. The outpost, yes. I wonder how much of our old home remains. I will leave for Rambler's Reach soon. But first, I must gather my thoughts. I barred the passage. I'm, I'm sorry. Farewell. Oh, the smell down here is potent. Uh, my son. Can't use this lift yet. Ah! What is that? Acid? Let's keep her distance. Raiders have rigged this place. Don't think I'll be able to move it. Focus. Ah! 
Let's go, BD. Let's move, BD. I'm happy you came here. Let's check out our kit. I can definitely work with that. That should do it. Sense of foul presence? No. It couldn't be. Something here.
It's gone now. We did it. Take a look around. Ooh, that's a nice one. This one. Good choice. It practically had your name on it. Done. I'll say it was fine. Oh, take a look at that. <clears throat> Can I confide something, Cal? Sure. Now, it ain't easy for me to admit, but I'm a big fan of Ash's music. Cannot get it out of my head. It's catchy. They've got great taste. Why is that hard for you to admit? Well, I don't know. I got a reputation, I suppose, for being tough, alert, ready to do what needs to be done. But wouldn't you know it, deep down, I was just born to dance, Cal found myself humming a tune the other day, and, well, customer thought I was out of my mind. You know what I like about you, Cal? You're not always bugging me to step in and help you solve disputes and whatnot. I like to try to handle my own problems. Guessing that's the same with you. That's right. A while back, this one prospector got into an argument with his protocol droid. Got so worked up, he got violent. So, I stepped in, told the prospector if he laid another hand on his droid, I would ban him from my shop and cut his credit with every vendor in town. So, well, that shut him up pretty quick. Since then, well, I've been the closest thing to a mayor this town has. I wouldn't want to mess with you. That's another thing I like about you, Cal. Smart enough to know trouble when you see it. Breeze ever tell you the story of how we met? No, let's hear it. Oh, he first landed, talking dreams of taking over a cantina. I pegged him as just another priorite vulture. Someone who comes out of nowhere, turns a credit from a few suckers, and skips town. Of course, when I saw him putting real care into the cantina, well, I knew we were cut from the same cloth. Pyloons is as important to him as the Mantis. That's why he named it after his great-grandma. That's right, you stick with Grease. He's one of the good ones. Just don't tell him I said that. Your secret's safe with me. Is this the home you were talking about? Correct. Within there are some... possessions. I don't suppose they will need them anymore. So feel free. Look around. Are you sure? I have no need for them. For your help, I insist. Skills? Medicine, surgery, healing. What happened in those caverns was terrible. And I was powerless to help. I will learn to prevent that, Cal. It's hard to stop suffering in this galaxy, but always worth the effort. Hey, you! You're the one taking shots at the Raiders, right? That's me. It's a bad idea. The Raiders have got eyes all over the Reach. Took down that watchtower, if that's what you're referring to. Oh, yeah? Well, let's hope there aren't any consequences for the rest of us.
Hello there. 20 cycles ago. Heard this town was nothing but a few shacks. Now look at it. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could go back there. See what it was really like to rough it. You could always head into the wilderness and start your own town. I think I'll stay here, thanks. Gulu, Guido, what's going on? Just bemoaning the sorry state of affairs in this place. What did the raiders do this time? No, not them. We were talking about how things ain't like the good old days. When we started out here, life was grand. The place was nearly empty. Barely anyone to bother you. Sounds like paradise. Well, it's the way of the galaxy. The only constant is change, and everything gets worse with time. Yeah. And there's always one Turgle everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> so long. Ah, you troublemaker. You got a mean look to you. I do? Yeah. Like you're not afraid of nothing. Maybe you can find out what all this fuss is about. There's a shack nestled way out near the caverns. Folks call it Key's Workshop. What's in the workshop? Misery. And maybe treasure, or so I hear. If you're in the area, could be worth a visit. Hey, little guy. Stay safe, you hear? I guess the lift doesn't work from here.
actually uh, well dead. Ready to ride. Falling behind. Got here. Let's go. Let's go, BD. Out here? Tons. As soon as something breaks with the Raiders show face, folks abandon their projects. So Kobo's a gold mine for scrappers like us. <laughs> you got that right. Great to see you. That you worship outside? Yeah. What's it to you? Kinda girl be pleasantly surprised when someone brings some class to this rock. Was that a compliment? Was it? Got a second, Monk? Gal, how do you and Grease meet? I was working on Brock as a scrapper. Grease gave me a lift when I needed it most. The way he tells the story, seems you gave him a lift, too. That's so. He never said the words exactly, but when I wanted to turn that back room of yours into storage, <laughs> He threatened to replace me with a gontroid. People show their affection in strange ways, don't they? Yeah, 
Yeah, Monk. I guess they do. It was good to see you. Grease and the others are still waiting for you at the landing pad, you know. Let's try this one. Okay, let's listen. Hey, glad you both found Pyloons all right. Thanks again for the invite. Name's Ash Javi, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD1. Man. You didn't tell me what a dive this place would be. This saloon has wonky acoustics, weirder customers, and a barely functional refresher. It's perfect. Can't wait to hear what you've got. Pretty sure Grease's old jukebox predates the High Republic. We got you, Cal. Hit up DDEC if you want to hear anything specific. I will. Thanks. Enjoy the tunes. Your turn to choose, BD. How about this one? Turtle? <laughs> no can do. We need all the business we can get. And how about paying off that brute and his gang so I can drink undisturbed? Sorry, Big Wheel. We're not exactly flush with credit. And I don't think Ravis is on the tape. <sighs> Another drink it is. Oh, hey! It's you! I saw you tearing through the woods. Remember me? Name's Toa. I'm a historian. Freelance, these days. Hell, also freelance. You planning on doing more exploring? Of course. This is my first time beyond the mid-rim, but I can already tell this place is a trove. Centuries ago, folks couldn't wait to scratch out a living under a new sky. And hell, they sure chose a vibrant world. Vibrant, huh? Hey, let me know if you find any more of those chambers, yeah? Will do. We'll talk soon. You know, you've got a core world air about you. It's becoming. You from the core? You're guilty as charged. I studied the galactic economy with some of the greatest minds of Coruscant. Then watched those same minds ooze into obscurity while real opportunity whistled by. Real opportunity? Oh, you know, tax-free trade, extrajudicial imports, what have you. Oh, you mean smuggling? What I mean is that the galaxy is begging to fill your pockets if only you play its game. Talk later, hmm? See what we find up here. Ah, lad! Cast your eyes over this beauteous tank! Glad you came around to it. Hey, didn't he make a fetching first impression? Have a mind to give a third scrubbing? Cleaning the filter, you think someone tried to cram a boss through a set? I can't hear that. So, you wish to prick up your ears and receive the tale of scuba? If you're sharing stories, we'll listen. Then you be a fool, my lad. A sordid tale will bring you nothing but grief and woe. Okay, well, if you're not sharing stories, we'll... Oh, fine, I'll tell you. At your own assistance, and at your own peril. My story begins in a small village on the frozen banks of Sakavi Tan. My home world. Nights black as quellfish in it. Winter so cold, a stern look can turn you to glass. Doesn't sound like the easiest place to grow up. Difficult, eh? From the moment your mother's milk froze on your tongue to the moment you found it upon frozen streets. You see, the fishes, they had the right of it. They dwelt far below the ice, where warm currents danced like ribbons in the wind. To fish so scarce a quarry, on account of the great fish famine, well, it's nearly a mild undertaking. But for all the bellyaching now, does 
a peaceful enough life for a wee Sakarian with an instinct for the road. So you discovered your talent early. Such a talent was I, that as a lad, me hardly spotted my first prickly chin here. I was given an audience with Undun. But that'd be a tale for another time. something. Here we go. That tech I tried to sell to Ravis, there's more of it in the valley. A building right in the center. You can't miss it. We've already been there, Turbo, but thanks for the tip. Really? Well, is it too late to say that we split whatever you find 50-50-50? Maybe next time. I'm gonna hold you to that. Hiya. This place could use some greenery. I wonder if I could find someone to help. I think they'll like it there, buddy. Of sages and warriors alike. 